If you've installed a coolant pump to your Haas machine, but it doesn't run when you command it, or maybe it doesn't generate any flow, let's check out a couple of things before we decide that it's defective. Now, if your pump runs noisily or gives you a little bit of flow, check out the video Troubleshooting Coolant Pumps at the Haas website. There's a link to that video in the description of this one. If the pump doesn't seem to be working, visually check to see if it's turning. Have someone command on the coolant while you look through the top and make sure that the pump is turning and it's turning in the right direction. If you can't look through the top, lift the pump out of the tank to check that it's turning. If the pump doesn't run at all, make sure it's plugged into the right place. The power cord goes here, into the receptacle labeled low pressure coolant. If the pump doesn't run at all, push the emergency stop button and open the control cabinet. Check the power distribution panel to see if circuit breaker number three has tripped. If the breaker is tripped, unplug the coolant pump. Now, reset circuit breaker number three. If the breaker trips again, the problem is not with the pump, but with the coolant pump cabling inside the control. Take a look at the standard flood coolant system troubleshooting guide at HaasCNC.com for help with that. Examine the power cable to the pump itself. Look for loose, frayed, or damaged wiring. Open the junction box in the pump and look for burned wires and check for a burn smell. If it seems like something got burnt, there's probably an issue with the pump motor. Otherwise, make sure the wiring is tight and that nothing in here is disconnected. Put the cover back onto the pump J box and plug the pump in. If the breaker trips when you request coolant, you know the pump is defective. If the circuit breaker checks out okay, take a look at the phasing LED. If it's green, the phasing is not the issue, and the pump is defective. If the LED is amber, the power leads coming into the machine are reversed. The machine runs just fine, but certain accessories, like the coolant pump, either don't run at all or will run backwards. It can be fixed, but this work should only be performed by a certified electrician. Set the main circuit breaker to the off position. Unplug the machine. Do not go any further with this procedure until the machine is disconnected from the building power supply as we're dealing with a lethal level of voltage. There are three wires coming into the main circuit breaker. Use an inductive screwdriver or a multimeter to make sure there is no electricity present at the incoming terminal. Reverse any two leads. Make sure all three wiring connections are tight. Now you can plug the machine in and set the main circuit breaker to the on position. The phasing LED should now be green and your coolant pump should now work correctly. At the end of it, we made sure the pump was plugged in. We checked to see if it tripped a circuit breaker. We verified that the pump cabling was correct and we made sure that the machine phasing was correct. If the pump still doesn't run or still produces no flow, it's time to contact your local Haas factory outlet for assistance.